Drama Alert Category 2, 5 minutes. This year, as part of the, the uh, simulation lab activities for the uh, physician assistant students, we had our first student-designed uh, simulation cases, and we had the first annual Halloween uh, trauma simulation case. One, two, three. The team had to come up with the basic learning uh, concept for the case, uh, what key learning aspects they wanted to get across to the students. Looks like he got some smoke inhalation, so we gave him O's. He's on 15 layers on a rebreather. Our patient um, was a little intoxicated, and he was decorating his house in his apartment, actually. And um, fire was started in his apartment. While he was trying to get out, he fell down the stairs, breaking his ankle. And on the way down, he got some big lacerations, one on his back, um, some bruises, lots of bruises on his arms and legs, and um, broke quite a few ribs. And that was the hidden injury because he had clothes on. All right, Dan, can you get airway for me? Randy, yes. will you check oh, breathing and listen to the My lungs? ribs hurt. And Caroline, check pulses for me. Sir, you're at the hospital. Can you tell me what happened? We wanted our classmates to be able to look at the mannequin and be like, okay, there's something wrong here. Like, he's got all these cuts, he's bleeding, he's got all the smoke on his, or soot on his face and whatnot. Um, and so I think it was helpful to really bring that, all, the patient is almost alive. I hear wheezing in the upper lung field. Bye bye, early. All right. The mannequins are, are computer controlled. So they have all the vital signs, they have blood pressures, they have pulse, they have respiration. Uh, heart rate's at 110, SpO2 is 96. Uh, the way you react when your epinephrine and your adrenaline's all flowing is completely different than when you're calm sitting at the computer taking a paper test. Completely different. So uh, there were things that we talked about doing amongst ourselves as the design team that when we practiced it, that we forgot to do our, ourselves. Even though we knew we wanted to, we just forgot to do it because it's completely different being in the moment. Thank you for covering for me. Okay. As soon as you would stabilize them, something else would go wrong, and that's really similar to real life. Um, your patients um, can be well one moment and um, you know, terrible the next. Um, so I think that's super helpful in terms of um, at least us thinking um, critically in terms of how to treat a patient. I know for me these cases are really helpful preparation for when I'm actually out there treating real patients to think back to this time and think, okay, I did this once and this is what I did and this is what um, I was supposed to do. And so having that low stress practice to rely on I think is going to be really helpful in the future.